Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of Trinity 7, Episode 4. Uh, yeah, this review's out really late. It was supposed to come out, uh, or this review, uh, this episode came out on Tuesday. It's Thursday. <laughs> Thursday morning, so. Yeah, this review is way late. I'm so sorry about that, but. <clears throat> excuse me. But anyways. This episode, one thing that I thought was really good. This is a series that's not you're not supposed to take seriously and unfortunately I see a lot of people hating on it when they're missing the point completely you're not supposed to take it seriously right you're supposed to look at all the cliches here and laugh that is the purpose of this fucking series and for what it's going for I think it's amazing okay that's how things are meant to be judged you look at what they're going for what they tried to do and ask if they succeeded. And in this series, is they most definitely succeeded, at least so far. So in this episode, there, the main like concept of this episode is that there's a breakdown phenomena going on uh, with the, with Yui, who was in uh, it, it, the last episode or the episode before, and she was the one who uh, Arata met in his dream. Oh, she looks way different in real life. She's uh, or in the real world, she's apparently like trapped in the dungeon below. I'm guessing, or below the school. I'm guessing because she has so much like magic that it, it's actually uncontrollable. And the fact that it kind of became uncontrollable in this episode is what was causing the breakdown phenomena to prevent everyone to go to, or to make most people go to sleep. And if it would have continued for too long, it could have actually destroyed the world. And they did end up saving her in the end. And of course, she's for some reason obsessed with Arata, and that's one of the cliches in this series that you're just supposed to fucking laugh at. It's the type of series where you have one, like, main male character, and a whole bunch of main female characters. The main male character is OP as shit, all the main female characters want something that he's got. I think we all know what they want, by the way. And yeah, it, it's just fucking hilarious, okay? I never, to, to me, it never gets old. Okay, because it's, as long as they take a new spin on it, which here they are, because they do have these serious moments in there. Most of the time, series like this don't really have them, but this series takes an interesting spin on it because it, it does have serious moments here, okay? As, especially, I mean, okay, why is it that it seems like the only two female characters in this entire series, who, at least so far, who have some sense of shame, <laughs> is... Uh, that main redhead, I forget what her name is, and also that, like, one petite short chick who always accompanying that tall chick, I forget what her name is, she's, she's basically, I guess, I'm guessing, like, the overbearing head of the school or something like that. Why does it seem like those two are the only two female characters in the series that have a sense of fucking shame? To me, that just fucking kills me, seriously. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, and of course they end up winning in the end, and in the end, Yui, completely fucking naked, huh, tackles Arata to the ground, hugging him. Again, no shame at all. <laughs> oh my god, and you and you know that fucking ni ninja chick, uh, Levy, I believe her name is, has no goddamn shame either, seriously. I mean, that's kind of obvious too. Oh my god, like, the lack of shame with most of these female characters is, out, is outstanding hilarious okay it really is and I really fucking loved it now other than that not a whole lot else happened in this episode except you know there was the, obviously the plot which was resolved by the end of the episode and a lot of the hilarious moments in this episode which really made the episode and which really makes the series so anyways overall if you have yet to see this week's episode of Trinity 7 then I definitely recommend that you do I thought it was amazing I really loved it. So anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed the Really no major complaints of mine, except the animation wasn't uh, wasn't outstanding, but it wasn't terrible either, you know. So anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Stay after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.